you guys. So we're gonna get you set up and get things going. All right. Thanks. All right. All right. Or I think this is an appropriate size needle in terms of length. Normally we use the three and a half inch, which I'm gonna put to the side here. This is our mixture for injecting or um, our PRP enter cells and um, lidocaine for topical, not for in the joint, but for topical protection. And this is um, our contrast medium to ensure our intra uh, activity. So you can see already just by looking at the joint. Um, if you can, can you just take a picture of that over here and then take a picture of her left hip joint so you can just do a quick comparison just to compare um, both joints. Can you guys see the difference? You can tell that something is just not right with the, the one that's on the right side because it just doesn't look as clean as the one that's on the left side. So when I'm doing these injections, you know, I try to come here at the neck and I go straight down to like contact bone and then I slightly pull up and walk on. The thing is there is some thought process with this local <laughs> that this prop that this part burns and hurts more than just going straight in. With my patients, a pinch. I tend not to use this local because to me you're numbing it, it's burning, it's stinging. And that needle is just one injection anyway, so you know I don't use the skin wheel at all these days. For her, I will because I'm nice today. Yeah. Alright, so you know, so now you know your intro articular, you can go ahead and have the two. This is going all over the joint. Again, I want to have this spread. That's it, guys. You did great. I mean, great. Yes. 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 Yes.